So, Ate, I want to buy a house. Ano yung mga kailangan kong i-prepare? Um, I always want to specifically tell my client about setting up your mortgage. That's number one. Always seek for a help of a mortgage specialist or even go to a bank to find someone who can help you get a pre-approval of your mortgage. Napakahalaga niyan eh. Okay. Kasi dito mo ma malalaman kung ano yung maximum or minimum na value ng bahay na pwede mong i-acquire. Okay? Mm -hmm. But before that, of course, I also I always want to tell people about yung secure nila, yung credit score nila. Credit score is power. That's yeah. true. And kung may credit score ka na strong, ibig sabihin malaki yung tendency mo na maaaprobahan ka sa pagkuha ng mortgage mo. And that's your bridge para makapag-acquire ka ng property mo. Next one is saving for your down payment. Down payment. Alam mo, like, like I said kanina, nung asabak, yung di pa tayo nag-roll kanina, Kaya marami ang hindi pa nakakakuha talaga ng bahay. Ito ha, based on my experiences lang sa mga nakakausap ko is that ang lagiging problema nila lagi is about securing a down payment. Mm -hmm. Kasi ano ba yung, bakit challenging? Kasi ang down payment, it could be 5%, it could be 10%, or it could be 20%, or even more ng purchase price ng bahay. Kasi wala ka pa nun, or hindi pa enough, although may na-save up ka, maraming pwedeng benefits na pwedeng ma-offer sa'yo. Especially when you speak with a mortgage specialist, sila yung mga kapagbibigay sa'yo ng options. Kung kaya ba ng finances mo, kung kaya ba ng pocket mo na makapag-loan ng from, say, halimbawa lang, it's one of, a, if one of the option, but it's not always the option. Halimbawa, yung RRSP, pwede tayong mag-secure dun sometimes eh. So, kung gusto mong mag makadagdag yan sa down payment, then yes, that's one of the options. Marami lang talagang mga buyers na natatakot. Pero, that's the most important thing kung bakit kami nandito is because we always want to make sure na maging aware kayo sa pros and cons ng mga sa pagkuha ng bahay. And now that you have asked me about the steps, I think for the first three, I would definitely tell you to, number one, yung sa credit score mo, seek a mortgage approval, and then yung sa down payment mo. Okay. Aside from the down payment, I also wanna talk about kapag nag-uumpisa na yung processing, yung transaction mo, kailangan mo i-anticipate yung mga extra expense mo. Such as, number one, yung halimbawa yung paggamit mo ng third-party professional. Halimbawa, andun ka na sa pag pagpili ng bahay mo. Kailangan, kahit bago yung bahay mo, kailangan mo kumuha ng inspector. Why? Kasi even though there's a warranty sa mga new homes, may mga problema pa rin that could arise. Inspectors are there to help us para ma-rectify ma yung problem. Especially pag bago yung bahay mo, it's one of the good advantage. Na kung luma naman yung bahay mo, they're also good kasi they will going to see the structural integrity of the home. Kaya pa ba? Worth it bang bilhin? Diba? So another people that you can use, lawyers, appraisers, sila yung mga tumutulong sa atin along the way as we do a transaction or whenever we are going to start purchasing a home. Kaya hindi lang basta down payment, you also have to consider saving up extra for those other fees. Other fees. Yung may mga closing costs yeah. pa, land transfer tax, and all that. Malalaman nyo yun. Ito yung ino is, pag bumili ka ng bahay, tapos magulat ka na lang. Oo, oh, ano kayo mayroon pa palang mga bahay? Oo, oo, oo. Oo, also wanna add ha, employment. Employment is also important that you, they na really, na-i-add nila doon. Oo, oo. Kasi kapag employed ka, and if you're paying your tax, um, accordingly, yeah. then ibig sabihin, mas talaga, mas strong talaga yung magiging possibility mo to acquire a home. Oo, oh, kasi syempre, ang lender, ang mga banks, lenders, hindi ka naman pa uutangin yan kung wala kang, wala kang pambayad, di ba? Basically, kailangan mo magbayad eh. It's either employed or self-employed self or even if you own a business, you can also use that too. Yeah. When is the best time po na bumili ako ng bahay? When is the best time to buy a home? Few years ago, there's what we called seller's market. And if it's a seller's market, ibig sabihin, marami ang buyer na bumibili ng property. Pag maraming buyer ang bumibili ng property, it means maraming offers sa isang bahay. Pag sinabi nating maraming offers, ibig sabihin marami kang kalaban. Okay? And also, the tendency is mahal yung bahay natin. Naiintindihan ko, bank is really fighting 
over inflation right now. Pero as of March 8, nag-freeze sila ng interest rate eh. Which is good news. Yeah, which is not a very good news. When it pero at least nagkaroon ng breathing room eh. Especially sa mga may ari na ng bahay ngayon, yung mga especially mga nasa variable, nagkaroon sila ng breathing room na okay, hindi tataas. Hindi mo na tataas. Now, when it comes to first time home buyer, why did I say it's best time to buy a home right now? Imagine right now, low yung inventory ng ng houses natin. Kasi maraming seller na ayaw magbenta ng bahay. You guys, you do you want to know why? Because the purchase price is going to really be low at this time. Dahil, konti lang yung mga gustong bumili ng bahay. Because, number one, interest. Number two, the confidence of the client or the, the people that are planning to buy a home. Mababa. Mababa. So, ngayon, right na, kung konti lang yung mga gustong bumili ng bahay, ibig sabihin, less tendency for us na magkaroon pa tayo ng multiple offers. Or what we call sa ibang term is yung bidding war. Oh, yeah, yeah, bidding yeah. war na tinatawag nila. So, kung ngayon, Kahit mataas yung interest rate natin, it's better ngayon dahil yung purchase price ng home natin is mostly mababa. Because right now is buyer's market tayo ngayon. It's been a while ha, pero like I said, it's always not going to be easy. Now, but it's still up to you kung kakayanin mo na. When it comes to the preparation, yung sinabi ko kanina in the beginning about saving up for your down payment, okay ba yung credit score mo? Because you know credit score is power. I will always repeat that. Credit score is power. Pag maayos ang credit score mo, pag wala kang, or I would say, konti lang yung utang mo, minsan hindi natin maiiwasan na magkakautang ka talaga eh. Yeah. And also, huwag kang bibili ng mga, mag, huwag kang maglolo ng, alam mo yung mga unnecessary stuff. Saman kung makakapaghintay naman yan. Especially ang car, ha? Baka mm -hmm. nagbibili ka ng bahay, next thing you know, bumili ka rin ng sasakyan, it doesn't make any sense. So, kaya kailangan talaga maging ready ka talaga. But again, the best time to buy a home, definitely now. I also want to add ha, yung sa preparation, preparation mm -hmm. yung sa first time home buyer, yeah. gusto kong i-add yung sa realtor, sa real estate agent. Mahalaga kasi na meron tayong real estate agent. Mm -hmm. Though, hindi naman siya mandatory. Yeah. Hindi naman sinabi ng gobyerno na, oh, kailangan, it's a must, kailangan mong kumuha ng real estate agent. No. Technically, no. Pero, for you to be able to have a better flow ng transaction, as, like, um, para ma-navigate kayo sa maayos na proseso at hindi nangangapa, especially kaming mga realtor, pinag-aralan ho namin ito. It took us, like, six months to two years for us to secure our license. Kung kami po ang magiging realtor ninyo, kung magiging kliyente po namin kayo, we're going to work closely with your best interest. Hindi namin kayo pababayaan. Whatever other people will say, pag ito ang gusto nyo, we will definitely try our best to make that happen. As long as it's ethical. Yeah, so pag nila ng real estate agent, does the fee for the real estate agent comes out from from the buyer or from the seller? Ayan ang isa sa mga napakaraming tanong na nakukuha namin. Pero, to tell you, to answer that question, most of the time, I'm not saying all the time, most of the time, sa seller talaga yan. Sa seller ang nagbabayad sa real estate agent. Could be a flat fee, could be a percentage, or it could be a combination of both the percentage and the flat fee, depending upon the negotiation talaga. Ng, ng, ng between the seller and the brokerage. Pero, may mga instances din na kailangan talaga mag-step in yung buyer to pay the remuneration. Ano yung mga sacrifices ng real estate agent oh my para, gosh. Sa, para sa client nila? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'll tell you this. Especially, ako pamilyado na ako eh. <laughs> di ba? Minsan, mamimiss mo ang birthdays na isa sa pinakamahalagang tao sa buhay mo. Or minsan naman, may mga importanting events or Mga celebration especially na kailangan mong ma-sacrifice. Travels, minsan mahirap din mag-book ng travel kasi yung possibility na mag-book yung client ng schedule mo, we have to definitely prioritize that. Kasi especially kung nire-represent ka namin, we definitely go, we will definitely have to work with your schedule with the best interest of the client. Though, 
pwede mo naman syempre i-negotiate yan with your client, pero talaga, realistically speaking, talaga nangyayari talaga in real life yan, ha? na nasa sacrifice talaga yung time sa family, time sa friends, yung paglabas-labas, travel, yan mga simpleng bagay na yan. Pero, comparing naman dun sa maitutulong namin for the client, malaking ano rin yan, it's malaking reward din. How? Emotionally rewarding, financially rewarding, it's really a good career, I'll be honest with you. And especially pagdating sa kliyente, yung client satisfaction talaga yung pinakamahalaga. The, the more na satisfy yung client sa service mo, then mas magkakaroon sila ng trust sa'yo, di ba? Mm -hmm. So what are the difficulties na kakaharapin ng mga buyer o ng mga seller? If they don't hire a real estate agent. Okay. Mga risks, no? Yeah, you were talking risks. about risks. Risk. Siguro bigyan kita example. May mga tendency na pag hindi ka gumamit ng real estate agent, nangangapa ang kliyente. Ay, nangangapa ang tao. So, pag nangapa sila, nagkakaroon ng problema in the long run. Halimbawa, bumili sila ng bahay, hindi sila nabigyan ng advice ng real estate agent nila o kumuha ka ng, mag-hire ka ng inspector or ng appraiser. Tapos nakita in the long run, mayroon palang problema. At tinatawag natin dito yung mga material facts na hindi nakikita. Kasi pag kliyente ka namin, We are ought to disclose you the material facts of the home. Kung ano yung mga sira ng bahay, we are going to definitely disclose that to you. Pero kung ikaw is, if you are representing yourself to purchase a home, it could be one of the possibilities, one of the many possibilities talaga na may problema yung basement mo, halimbawa, yun pala masisira na yung foundation ng bahay mo, yun pala contaminated yung bahay mo. Hindi mo alam yun. Hindi mo alam kung paano, sinong tatawagan mo, sinong kakausapin mo. And yung fear mo na mabigyan, na mabayaran yung real estate agent mo, mas malaki pa pala yung naging problema. Mas naging magastos pa pala. Why? Because they have to spend $10,000, $20,000 just for them to fix the property. Yeah. Right? Especially pag nandun ka na sa mismong transaction, I'll also add this one ha, meron kasi tayo mga tinatawag na conditions mm -hmm. sa isang sa transaction, especially kami nasa Organized Real Estate kami, association, mm -hmm. meron kaming ina-attach na schedule or conditions dyan. Diba? Pag, halimbawa, um, I'll give you a good example about, say, sa mortgage financing, hindi lang kasi yung sa, yung sa client yan kung batay na a-approve eh. Could be because yung sa situation, yung sa status ng bahay kung okay pa ba, minsan it's another reason kung bakit na-decline de tayo sa mortgage natin. Isang dahilan, isang reason yon So ngayon, pag nakita ngayon ng lender mo or ng bank mo na say, hindi maganda yung bahay mo, i-decline nila yung mortgage mo. Yeah, kasi yung yeah. mga pera yun. Eh. Oo, oh, yeah. oh. isa yun sa mga condition, at least it's for the benefit of the buyer then na at least hindi sila pumasok sa isang sitwasyon na in the long run magiging malaking problema pa pala. Yeah. Now, kung nag-work ka with us, the realtor, you will definitely have those put in place. We will help you kung ano yung mga kailangan mo, conditions, kailangan mong third-party professionals, we will definitely give you the best advice or suggestions. But again, if you're a client of ours, it will be up to your decision. We are only here to guide you every yes. step of the way with with your best interest, of course. Because a lot of people are um, medyo nagugulan dito. What is the difference between real estate agent, mm -hmm. real estate broker, and then mortgage specialist or real estate okay. mortgage specialist? Pag real estate agent ka, And real estate broker ka, it may, maraming parehas lang silang ginagawa. Similar, similar job, similar role, nag-help sila to navigate the process of purchasing a home, selling a home. Pero, ang broker kasi, they do have an in-depth experience and knowledge, and they can also help supervise the agents with the transactions. Sa isang company, yung mga, meron tinatawag na manager, Meron din tinatawag na line, mga leaders, supervisor, o supervisor ganun. O, sila naman yung medyo mga nasa hire na yung broker. Now, pag sinabi mo ng mortgage specialist, 
ang ginagawa naman nila is they help out sa pre-approval ng mortgage natin. Ang mortgage kasi ito yung ginagamit nating money to acquire a property. Because most of most of our clients or people who are planning to buy a home, hindi naman sila makakapag out of the pocket na babayaran mo yung halimbawa isang million yung bahay mo. <laughs> hindi mo pa ding, oh, eto isang million, unpaid. Kailangan talaga gumamit tayo ng um, lenders or bank, sometimes bank, sometimes lend, yung other A lender, B lender, or private lenders, depende yan, para makapag-acquire tayo ng mortgage. Yung mortgage na yon ang gagamitin natin to buy a house and sila yung makakatulong sa'yo, yung mortgage specialist. How can we reach them? A, pwede kayong pumunta sa bank. Number two, pwede, letter B, pwede rin kayong mag-reach out sa mga mortgage agent or mortgage broker. So kung hindi kay kung wala kayong kakilala, we, we definitely can recommend you to some mortgage specialist that we know, especially in our team. May mga kakilala talaga kami that we could we definitely trust in order to get the the mortgage that you need. Of course, pero William, salamat ah. Um, specifically prop photography. Thank yes. you so much, William, for allowing me to be part of this interview. It's really an honor na pinili mo ko. I would like to introduce myself. Ako po, my name is Danica Clemente. I work as a salesperson here at Royal LePage. Terrec Equity Realty po ang team ko. And we have different branches across GTA. Meron po kami sa Thornhill, which is my main branch. Meron din po kami sa Mississauga and other branches that you can find at www.terequity.com. And if you like to reach out to me, any real estate needs po, tawagan nyo lang po ako. My phone number is 647-928-6596. Ayan po, any questions you may have about real estate, I'm definitely the right salesperson for you. Thank you so much.